Hello again, chaps. Welcome back to Let's Play IL2 Stomavik Iron Man with Flight Lieutenant Dave. Um, yeah, the current mission is an air raid, like as a legitimate actual air raid on our airfield, um, as you can probably hear in the background. <laughs> um, last mission, I believe, what mission is this now? I think this must be mission 20, possibly. I'm, I'm not entirely certain on that. But anyway, last mission was a bit hairy. We ended it with us fighting a bunch of 109s right over our own field. Um, I have a feeling today's one might end in a similar fashion. Yeah, if we're lucky, <laughs> frankly, at this point. Um, so, I don't think there's anything new to report on this front, other than I had the wrong skin selected. Um, here we are, good old JXE. Um, yep. We're going to apply liberal amounts of brill cream and uh, jump in our cockpit and get moving because uh, we'll be climbing up to 12,000 feet apparently and then patrolling over our airfield as the enemy comes in. In fact, it's quite possible the enemy will be like about here by the time we spawn in. We'll be, we may well be able to see the enemy bombers before we even get off the ground. So um, air raids are always kind of interesting like that in this game. But hey, we'll do our best. Um... Hopefully the runway won't be too cratered by the end of it for us to land on it. Um, we'll see. Let's just check then. Yep, 16 sorties, 23 kills. We are doing rather well. Someone said... Bloom's still on here with 23 sorties and 10 kills. Someone said he was wounded and sent to hospital, but if that was the case, um, he wouldn't be on the list still. He would be down here instead, but he's not, so... Yeah, he's just been lazy and not taking part in any missions recently. Anyway, we're off. We're leading the two sections here. We'll be in charge of red section, but yellow section will also be doing what we tell them, because, well, hopefully, anyway. We'll see. I apologise that it's been kind of a while since the last uh, mission of this was posted. I um, am back at university now, so uh, things are getting a bit, in terms of my upload and schedule, things are getting a bit messy and hectic, frankly. Um, I'll be posting a video um, about that sort of stuff to get, keep everyone in the loop. But um, suffice to say, it's been a bit of a trial to not only um, find time to record new Let's Play episodes and also to upload the, like I said episodes once I've got them recorded um, for various reasons, which, which are, frankly I'm just not going to go into now because we don't have the time. We're here to play IL-2, not listen to me bitch about my first world problems. So... Come on, sometime today would be nice. Okay, slight jump cut there because the game crashed. Uh, I'll try to load it. It's fixed now. Um, right then. Well, priority really should be to get off the ground as soon as possible. So... Oh, God. Yeah. Throttle. Bloody hell. Sweet Jesus. I keep forgetting to leave that closed. Ugh. Dave, you nubsicle. Right, okay. Ground control. Take off, please. Good, let's go. Bloody hell. It's confusing, honestly, because in a real plane you can't, um, you can't even start the engine with the throttle all the way up to 100%, so that doesn't happen in real life. But in this game it does, so... Okay, we're up, up and away. Possibly stayed on the ground a bit longer than I should have there, but who cares. Let's, let's do a left way circuit around the field. And wait for our friends to uh, catch up. So our radiators to something like 60. Yeah, that'll do. Come on, chaps. Haven't got all day. Probably haven't even got ten minutes. I don't see the Jerry's at the moment, but they'll be here any second. My previous experience with these air raid scenarios is anything to go by. 
and I'm actually going to engage my boost cutout here. That's what it's called in a Spitfire, by the way, boost cutout. Um, where is the thing for it? I would normally be on the throttle, but I don't think you can see it because the cockpit in this isn't particularly well modelled, but hey, whatever. I'm going to engage that, and I'm going to actually keep climbing. Oh. Hello. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say those probably aren't friendly. Guys. Get your asses off the ground. Come on. This is what I was afraid would happen, which is why I took off immediately. Jesus. Yep, here we go. Well, there's no way we're going to be, in, be able to intercept these guys before they drop their bombs. Uh, it looks like at least everyone's getting stuck in from the get-go. Where's my wingman? I'd like a little bit of cover, at least. Okay, bombers with three escorts coming in from the top. What are those bombers? Looks like high ankles. Right. Right side, I do have altitude on them. Um, well, it looks like our guys are going for these bombers. Let's see if I can get a drop on a fighter or two. Oh, look, yeah. Someone's getting... Aha! One of our guys just broke in and started shooting as well. Excellent. Right, you, you, sir. You, sir, climbing away like that. Actually, maybe not him. Maybe this guy instead. Bloody hell, that was nearly a collision. <laughs> oh boy, okay. What is this guy doing? Oh, he's put on the brakes. He wants me to overshoot him. No, 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 Sonny Jim. Sorry, not falling for that. Brakes, proverbially speaking, by the way, aircraft don't really have brakes unless they're dive brakes. And a 109 doesn't have dive brakes. More about that in another Let's Learn to Fly video at some point, I'm sure. You little bastard, come on. Yeah, eat that. Right, he's done for. Get the horrible feeling there. I was being tracked by someone or something, but no, I think we're all right. I, I lucked out there. I really should have been checking my six a bit more often. Okay, so that's a fighter down. Well, soon to be down anyway. There's no way he's going to escape that. I think he's his water radiator and is gone, and he's streaming oil all over the place. So he's he's pretty fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we don't even need to finish him off. He's not going to make it home. Um, We've got this gent over here, but I'm more interested in home trying to catch up with those bombers, actually. Before they get too far away. But they've, they've gone and bloody disappeared into the clouds, so... Let's keep heading this way and see if we can spot them. I'm pretty sure this is the course they took. They probably hooked off to the south a bit. Oh! Shared kill. Excellent. That was a shared kill, really. God didn't look like he was scratched, but fine. I think I might get the kill for that because I'm the highest rank, so. Which is not in actual fact how it worked in the RAF. You'd get like a third of a kill or something like that if, if it was a shared kill, but in the Luftwaffe. If it was a shared kill, the kill actually went to the higher ranking officer of the two. Which, it, frank it frankly, is a bit unfair, but I guess that's just how they did things. But I'm pretty sure in this game, it actually works using the Luftwaffe method, even if you're flying with the RAF, but we'll see. Which, I think, is why I never got credit for any of my shared kills in the past before I got promoted, so... Well, bombers, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock from whom? From who, exactly? Where? Where is that? Well, the buggers are definitely about, at least. 
Oh, looks like somebody just fireballed. Interesting. Where are these bombers? I must know! Where are they? I'm gonna shoot them down. I've got like half my ammo left. I don't see them anywhere. Well, so, aha! There they are, chaps. Just put the pitch up a little bit for this climber about to do. Alright, guys. I don't know who's with me still, but let's get them before they get back to France, if we can actually... Yep, bomb is 12 o'clock, I know. Let's see if we can do this. Hello, I've got a bit of side slip going on. Look at the side slip meter here. Down at the bottom, that little arrow at the top. Try how to fix that to be honest, never mind. Um, because that'll slow me down, that will. Whatever. I can't remember what the key I signed to rudder trim was. Assuming this plane even has rudder trim. Whatever. It's a problem we'll solve another day. Um, yep, there they are. This could take a little while to catch up with them, actually, and maybe I should skip ahead in the recording at this point. Although, to be honest, I will probably just edit it rather than stop recording outright, because that will sometimes crash the game, I've noticed. So, it'd be a shame to after things have been going so well so far. Alright, we're getting pretty bloody close. Good thing they're hind calls and not JU88, otherwise I'm not sure if we would have caught up. JU88s are fast, hind calls are freaking slow. Well, there's one dropping out formation, he's as good as dead. Might be able to, I don't, I'm trying to decide if it's worth popping some shots off at this guy here with one engine already streaming. Probably not, to be honest, I think we should probably go past him, we don't have a full ammo load at the moment. Oh god, he's taking shots at us. I'd be surprised if he hit us, but... Best to err on the side of caution, I feel. Ah, oh, we are wrecking these guys. Although, it looks like whoever that is over there took some shots in return. He's streaming black smoke. Right, RTB, if you were, if I were you, old chap. Uh, but uh, it's up to you, I suppose. He's mad with rage. He must be Polish. <laughs> he just doesn't give a shit, does he? He just wants to see that bomber die. I meant that in a, in a good way. I meant it as a compliment, by the way, Polish viewers who may or may not be angrily typing at me now. Um, Alright, yeah, we're closing in. Although, to be honest with you, I think I'd rather come off from the side and a bit above and attack from the beam just so we don't become food for their gunners. Because attacking from the dead six of a gun of a, of a bomber is is not the most terrifically sensible thing you can do, especially not in this game because the gunners in this game are kind of deadly. So possibly more so than they were in real life. I don't know, but uh, either way, let's play it relatively safe if possible. Because well, you know, I've been wrecked by Stukas before, as you well know. Hello. Yeah, there's another bloody formation of bombers coming in from over there, but whatever, I guess that's someone else's problem! Bloody hell! Oh, my engine, my goodness, this carburetor nonsense is a pain in the arse.
All right, looks like we got. Ah, he's pulling away from the formation. He's he's done for. Hopefully, only one engine down, but hopefully that'll be enough. Oh my god, this engine is so sensitive to negative G, it's an insane. The effect is a lot more pronounced than it is in, in Cliffs of Dover, I've got to admit. Right, yep, don't care about you, Sonny, I'm after the others. Oh, bloody hell. Game froze up because my hard drive is shit, and I got shot in the process. I hate deflection shots like this. Well, we hit something. I think we'll empty the last of our ammo into this fellow and then call it quits. Because we're, we're approaching Dungeon S at this point, we've come quite far south. Alright, that's both engines. We're out of ammo. Time to go. I, I, I hope this isn't my flight getting shot at right now. It could bloody well be, but either way, I think squadron, um, navigation, return to base. We've done our job for today. Let someone else worry about the others. Bloody hell, yeah, there is some shooting on going, going on up there. Saw the traces, I don't see any contacts though. By the way, that's GTFO. Bloody hell, yeah, we have come a long way. <laughs> In hindsight, I probably didn't need a full fuel load for this mission, but never mind. Uh oh, that's a German. Hello. That's two Germans. Three Germans. Oh, okay, mate. No, possibly just two. Yep. I'll leave you chaps alone if you leave me alone. Oh my goodness. What have I run into? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I've, I've, oh, I've done it now, haven't I? Please ignore me. Have I got the sun on my back at the moment? No, I don't. It's, uh, they've got the sun, in fact. That's not good. So they're not taking any interest, which is good. Well, I don't know how that dogfight's going to pan out, because uh, I, I don't have any ammo. I'm not going to stick around to find out. That would be incredibly silly. Hope, all I can hope is that the rest of our squadron decided to go home when I told them to. Um, I don't see any of them at the moment because we evidently all got separated, which in real life would be reason enough to return to base, actually. Um, but we'll see, because you know what the AI's like. If it sees a bunch of enemies, it'll just dive in there and won't leave until he's either dead or bailed out. Getting a bit paranoid about what's behind me, though, got to admit. All right, well, well, well then. Barring any few immediate catastrophes, I suppose I will get back to you, chaps, when I have returned to Big in Hell, because that's actually a bit of a trip from here, isn't it? Well, I uh, oh dear. Hello, bombers. Didn't see you up there. Well, don't land on this runway here, but it seems because it's got craters all over it. Oh, enemy aircraft destroyed. Mission complete. Hidden target complete. Oh! Well, there's that. What did they hit then? 
bunch of planes on the ground by the looks of things. Not too many though, actually. They hit one or two, but that seems to be about it. Crate, put a bunch of craters in the ground, but that'll be easily fixed. Um, and let's see, they hit a few hangars, that's not good. And the rest exploded wide. Okay, it could be worse. But what we what were we supposed to do? We were dealing with their fighters and bombers off down there towards Dungeness. We weren't in a position to defend this place. And historically, in the Battle of Britain, that was a problem. Eleven Group, which were the guys down here in Kent, near London as well, thereabouts, were constantly flying back to re to to find that their airbase had been completely trashed by the Luftwaffe, because the guys in Twelve Group, which were further north, were supposed to fly over here and cover our airfields while we're, you know, messing around down there, but in this case it seems they didn't bloody do their jobs. Because look. Oh well. Either way, I'm going to come in for a landing. Um, let's see. Ground control. Let's do this properly, shall we? Uh, request weather. Zero six zero. So we need to come at the opposite angle to that, and that will have us landing into the wind, which is what you're supposed to do. So zero six zero. Opposite of that would be I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> if I could see my compass properly, I might be able to actually see. But never mind. Zero six zero. Um, some smart Alec in the comments will have already typed it in, but. Thinking around sort of 210 maybe degrees, something like that. Two ten degrees would be over this kind of direction. So that's the way we want to land towards. More than 210, maybe 240 degrees or something, actually. Now I think about it. In fact, that might actually be correct, mathematically. Yeah, I think it is 240 degrees. Okay, well, best bet then looks like to land down this runway here. This one going lengthways that we're parallel with at the moment. I think that's what we need to do. Overthinking this completely, which I'm just doing this as a bit of an exercise. Could have landed straight across the grass if I wanted to, I suppose, but who cares? I'm doing it my way. Gear down. Flaps, landing position. Let's do this. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Uh oh, trees. No, no, no. Don't fucking crash into those. That would be a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Alright, okay, this is going to be a bit wonky, but never mind. Alright, alright, alright. Flaps raised. Oh, not too shabby in the end. If I do say so myself. Uh oh. God, I nearly broke the propeller then. You dumbass. You just had to say it, didn't you? Another hidden target complete. Excellent. Let's get our asses off this runway. If we get bombed again, good lord. will do, I think. Engine off. Jolly good show, I think. Jolly good. I mean, on the whole, actually, not too bad at all. <laughs> good old Spitfire Mark 1 JXE. Gonna miss this thing.
Because sooner or later we're going to get given Spitfire Mark Twos, and, and then if we survive long enough after that, Spitfire Mark Fives. It's a rather pretty looking thing, I have to admit. Even though I, I generally speaking, prefer flying the Hurricane. Uh, I can't, I, I've got to admit, the, the Spitfire Mark One with the De Havilland prop on it, like this one, does look good. Anyway, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead, straight ahead and quit now. Uh, worth noting, by the way, that historically, number one squadron, us, did actually fly Hurricanes, not Spitfires. But anyway, um, okay, so, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, mixed bag this one then, 2nd of September 1940, um, took off at 11.16, contact at 11.38, landing 11.42, it wasn't very long was it, Spit, 8 Spitfire 1s, Dave, Harper, M Mesa, Brackenbury, Longdon, Anhalt, Bailey and Hay, um, enemy 15 to 28, G111s, 3 109Es and 10 109E, something or something else other than those guys we luckily did not run into the 10 we ran into the 3 at the beginning um, so we got 2 kills Mesa got 2 kills Longdon got a kill Anhalt got a kill however Mesa was KIA as was Longdon as was An. oh my god that's terrifyingly bad we lost 5 guys in that mission then probably got jumped by the other 109s yeah it looks like it around here so that was our guys yelling and flying around with those 109s. Mesa was shot down. Bailey shot down. I think he bailed out though. Yep. And help shot down. Longdon shot down. He bailed out, but evidently, evidently the, the chute didn't open or something. Harper bailed out. Looks like he survived. Breckenbury shot down H111 and he was killed here. Shot down by. Uh, I'm beginning to think that that there might actually be maybe represent the fact that his pilot was killed and then he crashed over here, um, rather than him having bailed out and died there. Because if he'd bailed out and died, it would have given you a bailed out thing like that. So yeah, I think he got shot in the face by a, a Heinkel gunner, and then crashed a little bit further ahead. Mesa got an HU-111 there. He got another one over there. What happened to R1? Yeah, there we go. R1, the one we shot at, um, crashed in the sea just off of Dungeness. And over here, a bunch of statics were destroyed. Flight Sergeant Hay was shot down. We got a, a, a trio of 109Es. Player and Flying Officer Longdon. Well, I suppose that solves the old thing of <laughs> the shared kill, doesn't it? Because it's not like he's going to get it if he's dead. Oh, dear. Well, we inflicted a bunch of casualties. They inflicted a bunch of casualties on us. Um, pretty standard mission outcome by the looks of things, I think, generally speaking. Um, I didn't stick around to see what else happened. I think maybe a few more of them might have gone down on their way home, but either way. Huh. <sighs> Your commander is pleased, apparently. Fine, whatever. Um, 25 confirmed kills in total, then, for our career. Not too shabby. Let's apply. Okay, we've got a bunch of new guys. Stanley, Courtney, Grant, Avril, and Maggie. Well, I don't even know how he's supposed to pronounce that. Um, and we're going to be patrolling near Folkestone next time, apparently. Folkestone. Folkestone, Folkestone, Dover area. Quite close to St. Margaret's at Cliff, which is over here. Otherwise known colloquial by our, colloqui colloquially sorry, by RAF pilots as Hellfire Corner. Um, patrol an airfield that suffered repeated bombing related to recently, so we're protecting Hawkinge, basically, I think. Hawkinge and Lim over here. Um, and try and break up any further bombing attempts. We'll be at 19,000, so nearly 20,000 feet. I'll be leading once again. Oh, Wing Commander Bloom has stepped back into the fray, it seems. Fair enough. Well, looky, look at that. Well, I, I, yeah, 
I, I kind of almost expected him not to, but to be fair, if he's wing commander, he's going to be doing stuff with the other squadrons, isn't he? Because he's a wing commander, not a squadron leader. So I, him not being there for a bunch of missions to fail, it makes a fair amount of sense. But good to know he's back with us because he's kind of an awesome dude. I mean, he's not as good as us, obviously, but, you know, out of the rest of the squadron, he's actually kind of a badass. Um, nice. Well, good to see that, although it means probably yellow section aren't going to be following my orders, um, unless he's just observing, which he may well be, in fact. Um, anyway, yeah, that should be interesting. And that will be next time on Let's Play Isle 2 Stover Big Iron Man, where we are still not dead. <laughs>